for today's sponsor we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16 and using my SKEG discount code will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, it's Shit Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So today's video, we have the video of how to change your GPUs, your GPUs thermal paste, sorry, or how to actually decrease your GPUs temperature, okay? So this is how you do it. Uh, one of the things that you can do to actually decrease your GPU temperature and it is changing your GPU's thermal paste. As you change your CPU thermal paste from time to time, your CPU, okay, your CPU thermal paste, your processor, you also need to change your GPU thermal paste from time to time. Usually, we won't change the GPU's thermal paste, let's say, before the two years mark. So, you buy a GPU new, of course, you have it for like two years of gaming, of usage, doesn't matter. And then after the warranty voids, two, three years, then we're gonna do it. And that because from the moment you actually put your screwdriver in any of these screws to actually unscrew the, um, the plate, you lose your warranty, okay? You void your, war your warranty. So if you don't want to lose your warranty, don't do it. If you don't care about your warranty, then just do it because it will most likely bring you better temperatures, okay? Now, before starting, you need to have some things. You, you, you need to understand that you need to have the, the, um, the appropriate set of tools, okay? So you need a screwdriver, a medium screwdriver, okay? And you better have some smaller ones, okay? Some smaller screwdrivers. You can actually get these very, very cheap. Uh, in some store, just get these screwdrivers usually used, for example, for um, for smartphones, you can get those kits cheap and get one because you have these, these bigger screws, which are okay for a medium, for a medium, for a medium screw, screwdriver, sorry, but you also have these little ones that are not really okay for a medium screwdriver, so you actually need a smaller one, okay? Now, don't judge me, oh sorry, don't judge me, but I know it is in the freezer and I shouldn't do it, okay? I know, I know, but look at this, yeah, Thermal Grizzly Aeronaut, okay? It's the Thermal Grizzly Aeronaut, what I mean here is that basically um, I was going to, to make this video and then I just let it slip and it fell off the ground and yeah, it actually broke in this part, it actually broke here, so... Um, so yeah, I actually had to to do this. I don't know if you can actually see it. So, um, okay, let me just go away from the camera. But yeah, basically, this is it. See? Yep, I had to actually apply heat to, to make it stick together once again because I couldn't actually apply the thermal paste in this video. So yeah, I'm that guy. So you may reconsider subscribing this channel. But yeah, let's get the bullshit and go to the actual part you want to see. Let's go. So, here we are, as you can see, with a GPU. Let's start unscrewing these basic ones, the bigger ones, okay? Some of them have have here the little, I don't know how, how you call it in, in English, but this, this thing, okay? So <laughs> basically some, some models have screws with this, others don't, that with this little shit that applies pressure, whatever, let's keep doing it. So now, all our big screws are unscrewed, so we need to start doing this on the little ones here, here, and here, and on the side here also. So not these ones, these ones are from the, the ports, but for example, I think this, this one here, something like that. Uh, it depends on the model actually, but let's start with these ones, okay? But 
But well, but you, you don't actually need to take this plate off in, in order to access the GPU die. So we'll just leave it on. If you actually wanted, if I actually wanted to, to take it off, I would have to unscrew these screws here, this one here, this one here, and so on, so on, so on, in order to take it off, okay? But for now, I'll just try to reach the GPU die and not take the plate off, okay? Yeah, basically it just came off, so I didn't actually need to take off the plate, like I told you, and it was just like this, just like one, one, two, three, four, four screws, four big screws, and another four small screws for the die, and just bam, it's done. So it is simple as it can be. In in older GPUs, or at least in some in some Nvidia cards, or in other um, in other, how should I say it? Uh, in other models, the difference is big. For example, I actually changed it. The, change the thermal the thermal pad because it was a thermal pad. I removed the thermal pad and actually added thermal paste to my RX 6800 uh, and I actually had to unscrew several several screws to get there. The same for Vega 56 Pulse but this one is pretty simple so yeah. So basically that's it. You have here the GPU die as you can see. It is a really really small die. For example the 6800 has like double the die. So the die is this here in the um, in the middle with the thermal with the thermal paste um, and I actually the, the 6800 is, is like this it's like double or triple the size and in Vega 56 you can actually watch the the HBM modules here so you have the die and then you have the HBM modules here separated in different dies which is really interesting really interesting to see so basically you don't need to re to unconnect anything just do this like I like I'm doing here are the thermal pads as you can see here the thermal pads for this and then the thermal pads for this which I assume may be the VRAM yes from Micron yes so this is the VRAM and these are the capacitors or something like that the VRMs the VRM sorry so I know some of you don't really uh, don't really like to use paper tissues to to clean the dyes, but I've been doing it for years for CPUs, GPUs, and so on. And as long as the paper isn't um, isn't a sanding paper, you're good to go. Okay. If you want it cleaner, you can use isopropyl isopropyl sorry isopropyl alcohol, but um, well, it isn't needed. So let's start cleaning it finally. Sorry for the delay. So just start cleaning it. Okay, a bit on the sides now. Now that we actually cleaned the dye, let's clean the heat spreader. Or sorry. Now, an important part. Uh, this die is very, very small. Okay, this is a very small die. But um, as larger the die becomes, you need to actually spread the thermal paste instead of just leaving a dot. So basically, this die is really small. So if I just come here and leave a dot like we do on the CPUs, for example, or a little X, for example, it will be more than enough because it is little. But if if your die is so if you have a stronger GPU um, if your die is actually bigger you need to actually spread the thermal paste or your temperatures will actually get worse okay that's basically it so if you want to spread it for example the thermal grizzly air or not the one I'm using already brings this little guy which basically here which basically helps you spread the thermal compound so let's just use it. Oh, come on. Don't mess with me. Okay. So basically, we just go there. Press the thermal paste. Okay, it's coming out. See, you can spread it pretty evenly. Yeah. Seems good to me. Now, one thing, one thing to notice is that you don't actually, um, you don't actually have to worry about the thermal paste going on the sides, and you don't have to worry because 
the thermal paste is non-conductive and you don't have anything here that can actually break per se okay so just apply the thermal compound don't apply too much because it will do the opposite it will get you higher temperatures instead of lower ones so a really thin layer of thermal compound over the dye and you're good to go okay so if it goes a bit to the sides just don't worry because it is non-conductive and it won't break your GPU, okay? After this, all you have to do is to actually close it, like we did before. Close it. So before we opened it, now we're gonna close it. The first thing you actually want to do is to put pressure on the die, okay? So first, these screws over the others. This is what will cause pressure to the die to make it to make the, the heat spreader close to the die in order to cool it, okay? The die is already done. So now all we need to do is go back to the bigger screwdriver and put the screws once again. And yeah, guys, that's it basically it is this simple you just need to unscrew clean the gpu die and screw things up again screw things up <laughs> and basically screw the screws once again as you can see the screws are done in terms of temperatures i did not measure the temperatures because the card wasn't actually needing a replace of thermal compound because it is fairly new and i did not use it much apart from a bit of mining okay so it was completely fine but uh, for example on my Vega 56 it has like three years I changed the thermal paste and it was doing in some games like 75 76 degrees while under vault when I changed the thermal compound it passed from let's say 70 to 75 depending on the game to around 60 so it was from like 10 to 15 degrees difference 10 to 15 degrees is a lot it is a lot guys on my 6800 it didn't do much i just changed it because i wanted to see how it would perform but it did a lot of difference and for my rx 5700 xt it was the same i changed the thermal paste after like two years yes i think it's two years uh and it made a lot of difference okay so if your car has over two years uh you might consider changing the thermal paste because you may have a 10 degree difference or even more by changing it so your GPU may run way cooler than it is running right now okay here it is thanks a lot for watching if you have any doubts leave your comment in the comment section and sorry for the for the long and boring video but it, it had to be this way uh, to actually explain you things in detail to watch the step by step it is really simple once you do it the first time and once once you watch the first time okay yeah, it's really easy. So, open, split, clean the die, clean the, the cooler, clean both, apply some really, uh, some really good thermal paste. This one is one of the best price performance ones, the Thermal Grizzly Aeronaut. It is not the Chironaut. The Chironaut is for water cooling. This one is the Aeronaut. It's way cheaper uh, and performs almost the same. Uh, and yeah, basically that's it. Air or not, bum, close it and you're good to go. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video.